Hello friends and well wishes, this is Joshua McGraw from Doppler Interactive coming at you with another development update. I love doing them, they make my days seem whole and satisfying. Uh, this evening I'm going to be showing you a few things I've been working on. Uh, I'll, I'll get the pretty things out uh, at the start and the, uh, the well you could call them ugly but I'll call them data-y things out at the end. Let's go ahead and create a new map as we are wont to do. We'll uh, just pop it out a little bit and align our camera nicely. Excellent. Let's pop a few leaves on that bad boy. Maybe we'll sort of simulate a sort of tree going on up the top here. Maybe we'll pop in some uh, some of the standard blocks down the bottom. They're still kind of holding up nicely. And uh, yeah, not too shabby. Let's go ahead and pull the camera out just a little bit so that we can see what we're doing here. Excellent. Now I'm starting to think this is actually maybe maybe it's more like a cave. Maybe we can pop some uh pop some darker blocks down the bottom. Yeah, and we're sort of getting a a cave like thing going on. But you know what is really missing, friends, and this is a segue, you know what is really missing? I'm thinking it's missing some sort of some sort of wall to really give you that claustrophobia. Let's go ahead and click our new background button here. Uh, we'll select our background swatch and let's just go ahead and paint that bad boy in. So, uh, oh yeah, I think I think we're coming together. I'm starting to feel like I'm in a cave, aren't you? Yeah, that's that's certainly something. And uh, and just to just to make us feel a little bit nicer, let's go ahead and pop this uh, character controller in there. Oh my goodness, on top of the wall, that means the wall isn't a block. Oh my good, kill catastrophe. Are, are you are you surprised? I, I certainly am. Uh, feigning shock. Let's go ahead and press uh, press play and see what goes on here. Ah, oh, off you go, my little friend. Off you go. Now, what's happened here? Uh, if we if we'll turn our gaze to the top screen, is I've gone ahead and uh, created a you know, sort of procedurally dynamic mesh generation for backgrounds and such. So you can. Uh, Go ahead and drop a material into our your background swatches down here, uh, and uh, whenever you click on a block in the same painty style, it will uh, create a mesh out of that that material. Um, and say you're some sort of twisted sociopath, and uh, let's go ahead and press stop. Uh, just for the sake of argument, you're obviously not a twisted sociopath, and you want to paint uh, your background out of. Um, a few different types of uh, of textures here. Let's go ahead and make this out of the salary man's head. Oh my goodness! Skinned with the walls of his fallen brethren. That is that is sick. It is a is a nightmare encounter that we've got here. But we'll leave some some cave in there and and maybe we'll pop a few bodies in there too because heads don't pay the bills, people. Heads don't pay the bills. And let's uh let's go ahead and press play again and uh, see what we've got happening here. So as you can see, we've actually got multiple meshes. Uh, coming up all combined, it's all just one thing, one piece of geometry, ultra efficient, ultra beautiful, uh, painted in that same tidy tile mapper way that you know, you love. Uh, that's uh, what we'll call, I guess, tidy procedural backgrounds. Uh, or tidy dynamic backgrounds, yeah, I like that, I like that. So that was a little thing I was doing this week. Uh, I really had no reason to do it, I just sort of thought, oh, that would be a cool thing to add. So I've been sort of messing about with the uh, mesh classes. That's been fun. And uh, the other thing that I'm very excited about is this uh, this new button here, this F, uh, this tidy functional overlays. So let's go ahead and click on this block here. So as you can see, it's putting down a little gizmo, a yellow gizmo, to say you can put a functional overlay here. Let's uh, give it a click. And uh, what we've got here is a, a listing of the scripts that uh, are derived from the, the class that we're asking for, which is a tidy functional object. I'm going to go ahead and click Dialog. And now I can pop a dialog point here. So as you can see, I'm pop a, t a title in there, some dialog, time per letter if you want to, you know, uh, have it print out. Uh, let's go ahead and close that down. So now we've got a functional overlay there. But, uh, you know, I don't think the dialog and unnew new object uh, scripts are going to do it for us today. So let's go ahead and create a new one in our functional objects folder here. I'm going to call it a script for my video friends. And uh, let's edit that bad boy. So if we pop up mono develop, um, a script for my video friends, let's derive from a tidy functional object. Just going to pop a few uh, serializable fields in here, maybe a string, a test string. 
maybe a test vector and uh, any int because we all love ints let's go ahead and save that bad boy go back to our unity let it compile up and uh, let's go ahead and go to our functions again I'm gonna click right here oh my goodness a script for my video friends it's right there Let's give it a click, and there the fields are. So we can go ahead and add uh, anything our heart desires to these uh, scripts that derive from a tidy functional object. Uh, just give a click on your map. Uh, maybe pop in some uh, some different variables, and uh, there you go. You can access them from scripts. You can uh, they receive all the all the map events. So uh, if an object enters the square, sort of like triggers, you can have something go off, or uh, or really anything that you like. Um, so that's, to me, probably the most exciting thing I've been working on because it paves the way for really anything. Um, I'm thinking things like, uh, you could have your events, you could have switches for lights going on or off. Um, I was actually using it to store dialogue so that you can have separate dialogues per sign. So pop your sign in a block and then pop your dialogue on the sign as a functional overlay and uh, everything's nice. Um, so that's sort of my update for the for the evening slash week. Uh, hope you're excited like I am. This has been Joshua McGrath from Doppler Interactive. Uh, just giving you a nice sort of development update, which they've really become sort of my uh, sight unseen vlogs, I guess. Uh, so take it easy, everybody. Uh, good luck on your adventures.